okay, look, I'm extremely late with the Craven video, but so is Insomniac. They dropped New Game Plus eight years later. I'm that one crab in the bucket. I gotta pull somebody else down with me. But all memes aside, I've noticed the lack of Insomniac Craven content on YouTube. And since nobody else wants to make a video breaking down Insomniac's Craven, as the great Thanos once said, Fine. I'll do it myself. And look at this, we get to see Craven's story start off during one of his hunts. And it looks like Craven's hunting some muscular edge lord called the Great Hunter. Bro look like foreign Sasuke on PEDs. Sasuke then sees a random patch of blood on a leaf, and what do you think he does? Nasty bitch. You not about to tell me that this random patch of blood didn't contain about 18 different types of STDs, and you just snacked on it. Brother and called Silicitis, and we not even two minutes into his lore. Great hunter. Then, Sir starting to F up a lot. Here's a random noise in the distance and decides to go play Scooby-Doo. This type of tomfoolery should get you exiled from the land. He's already 0 for 2, and he's categorized as a great hunter. You grow slow in your old age, Sergey. <laughs> This man really just fell for this Looney Tune behind trap. Why are you looking distraught like this BS tactic was actually about to work? Homeboy about to cry. <laughs> man, I almost had him, y'all. No, no, you did not, bro. And look at how Insomniac cooked up with my boy Craven. A fate you will not share. The goat! The goat! Him, Himothy, Sir Hemsworth. Get off that this, bro, what is you doing? Do you know how savage that is to be said as your first line? Oh my god, bro, is this riding all you do? Yes. Then this fraud of a hunter decides to telegraph his next move as plain as day. Bro's even looking at you like, I want you to try it, motherfucker. <laughs> this thing is trash. Craven then jacks this fraud up like one of those edgy bully scenes from a 2007 movie. Then he proceeds to choke this man harder than Darkness herself wish he could get choked. <laughs> I've been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. <laughs> Pathetic. Imagine fumbling in a 1v1 phase so hard you piss your enemy off. This is a feat that can only be achieved by this man right here. Spare me! Shh, 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 shh. Go to sleep, you fraud. <clears throat> then Craven tells his lackeys, I want it in equal, not a fraud. So, lackey number eight walks up with the iPad and shows Craven this. They say New York got some real hitters if you're not too scared to pull up. Don't ever try me like that again. And judging by Craven showing his pearly whites, he rocking with the list. And that was all six months ago. We catch up to the present time and he's been busy. Craven's gotten his team to build two locations so he can carry out these hunts. I feel like I need to say this now before we get too deep within the story. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Ah. Yeah, before this game, I knew zero info about Craven. Zilch, nada. Basically, I'm saying, I owe you an apology. I wasn't really familiar with your game, my boy. But best believe, when I seen this next scene, I slowly started realizing that this man was a different breed. Craven gets word that two of his potential victims are being transported by some of the top security in New York. You know what? Top security might be a stretch. Aha, he got y'all on the same tier as the Umbu Black Ops, on the same tier of useless. You would think for a kidnapping mission, you would try to go in subtle. Wrong. Make sure the prisoners are secure. Oh, and we gotta talk about how his men's pull up game in this game is top two, and they're not number two. The fact that this sister started off by trying to commit double homicide and then launching herself off another boat while being 60 feet in midair and decides to do a casual Nightwing type backflip and she lands with composure while maintaining a straight face. Run away, run away. And once all the squabbles have concluded, we not done. That man Craven pulls up to the job site himself. The gang ain't gang without me face But all jokes aside, y'all gotta respect it. You rarely ever see the big boss come out and do missions with the lackeys. They mostly sit back with their feet kicked up. Then Craven proceeds to whip out the Call of Duty DMR, but that boy Miles is ready. Oop, got him. So while psychologically juking out Miles, he used this as a distraction for his side to start scooping up the prey that he wants to hunt, like toys from a claw machine. I've never seen a more quick and efficient act of kidnapping. But ladies and gents, no great plan can be completed without some type of BS. And Miles is that BS. See, Miles has beef with the person in the container, otherwise known as Martin Lee. And if Craven escapes with Martin Lee, we're basically going to get a reenactment of what happened to that fraud of a hunter. 
So Miles is over there like, no, I'm not about to get my kill took. Yeah, he wants some dead. Miles started fighting like he just popped a perk and he single-handedly caused the container to crash. And when the container crashed, guess who walks out? He's back! You killed my father, man. I don't give a fuck. But Craven in full menace mode interrupts this lovely reunion and gets to snatching. No! They done turned this into the ultimate game of tug and war. But this had me thinking, how strong is Craven? Because this is the same Miles that was holding together a bridge and he's matching this man with one arm. But before Martin Lee's body ends up looking like it just been through an MK fatality, Miles finally decided to stop acting like the menace that J. Jonah Jameson claims him to be and actually goes to do his heroic duties. So, some time passes and we get a 4K point of view to what happens to one of the two prey that he picked up, otherwise known as Scorpion. Scorpion has just escaped and he been passing out free tickets to the morgue and he even left some of his special sauce on the cage. Nasty bitch. But you would think that Craven would be pissed that all of this is going on. My man bust out a smile and pay close attention to what I'm about to say. Whenever Craven smiles, a violation is about to ensue. So while Craven is busy being a weirdo playing in Scorpion's secret sauce, Scorpion is over here lurking. And then he strikes. Scorpion goes for one of the most beautiful sneak attacks I've ever set my eyes upon. This shot looks so good, I thought my 720p TV had achieved 4K enlightenment. So when they finally collided, they went eye for an eye. Have a nice trip. Didn't that fraud of a hunter make this same mistake? So Craven pulls Scorpion's throbbing stinger out his chest and that leaves Scorpion like, Oh hell no! Look at this man's face. He's dumbfounded, astounded, open mouth, awe stricken, bemused, perplexed. So after Craven has just been stung with a lethal blow, what do you think he's doing? Craven then savagely chops off Scorpion's tail in poetic fashion and I swear he started spamming the taunt button. Is this the best you can do? Yanking another grown man up with one arm and using that same one arm to throw that grown man into a metal cage while mewing is heinous work. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. Craven jailhouse shanked this man with his own rod and proceeded to smile in his face. And next on the list, we got Reptile. So Connors, AKA the Lizard. So Connors gets kidnapped and that makes MJ hop in her bag. Weapons against me won't prosper. With this sacred treasure I summon, Big Raga, the op stopper. <laughs> because I've never seen you move like this. Did this man so foul, had this man waving goodbye. But anyways, MJ finally makes her way to Connor's cage and he's sitting there like, ma'am, ma ma you, you shouldn't be here. Man, shut your scare behind up. Do you want to get saved or not? It's like Craven also smelled the gardening tool aura coming from this man. Because as soon as Doc started twitching like he just drunk a whole cup of Percocets, this man Craven spun in faster than I get spun, killed in Call of Duty. And he's smiling. You know this beast. His name is Kurt Connors. He's a good man. <laughs> So my boy slowly squats down and drops some knowledge on MJ. There are no good men. Only good prey. I mean, look, man, that was a little too philosophical for me. Basically, I didn't get it, but he cooking. So with MJ tired of hearing the BS, she utilizes her bronze quick draw badge and Craven's already 10 steps ahead. Now, what did we learn? To not f with Craven. That's right. So while smiling mid skirmish, Craven tosses MJ and her overpowered Nerf gun to the side and gets ready to put in work. No, please, please. While nonchalantly ignoring every single plea from Connors, Craven injects his fluids inside Doc, and we get ready to see the Zarbon transformation. <laughs> Sorry, we're late. Peter Benjamin Parker, your girl is over here getting ragdoll and Connors is over here getting violated and the first thing you say is this? Sorry, we're late. This showing up late and saying something corny on arrival gotta be a trend in the superhero community. All units, level four mobilization. Two hours later. Hey, yo, sir. How's the weather? Bro, I'm dying! 
The Hunters assembling to help run the squabbles just from Craven's whistling gotta be added to the pull-up game resume. Craven walks away while 8% pissed and lets his boys finish the job. Craven's men fumbled so hard, they even let Connors make it to the antidote. Hey, Dr. Connors, I think you forgot that Craven is currently running a campaign for pro smoke. So with that latest stunt, that causes Doc to drop the antidote and let the Zarbon transformation begin. All right, Connors, my boy, let's see how that transformation going. Oh my God. They really got this man Connors out here looking like that one secret ninja turtle that never gets to see the light of day. They don't claim you. He is eternally stuck in the sewers. And the whole time Connors was transforming, that boy Craven was smiling. It's a unwritten rule where you're supposed to wait for your ops to fully transform before attacking. Craven doesn't give a fuck. MJ. Peter Benjamin Parker, spin back for your girl. Damn, he really about to rock my shit. He jailhouse shanked this man faster than popular YouTubers decide to throw away their career time they blow up. No! Hey, this is so random, but I don't know why Craven smiling at Harry maliciously reminds me of that one scene with Vegeta closing the door. <clears throat> Back on track. Oh, and don't think I forgot about the violation rule because smiling at a man after you just filleted his homie and then proceeding to yeet his homie like a red frisbee out a window is prime about that life activity. A brawl is surely brewing. Bro got the stance of a man who only spams command grabs in a fight. You cannot tell me that Craven is not the reincarnation of Beowulf. All right, child boys, y'all gonna have to bear with me because this fight was jumping all over the place. Harry starts off with the eight frame punch and that leaves my boy Craven kind of staggered. Then it shows Harry suffering the same fate his homie did two minutes ago by getting tossed out the building like a frisbee. I'm gonna get you out of here. <laughs> nah, they frame crazy. Doing a flying knee coming from 30 feet in the air at a mathematical angle is nefarious timing. We out. Uh, and much as I hate to admit this, that man Harry started cooking. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. So at this point, Harry's inner blackness is definitely coming out. It got that boy talking crazy. I'll kill you! Do it then, bitch. Okay, maybe he didn't say that, but he's still ready for war. He literally tried to decapitate Harry with a heavy haymaker. The punch from Craven causes the big black monkey to fall on top of MJ. Then we see Harry getting thrown to the ground and we see Craven try another diabolical drop. And that latest 200 frame attack leaves Craven in a state where he can get punished. That opening lets Harry hit Craven with the Luigi Smash Bros special. At this point in the fight, Craven is still telling Harry he wants the squabbles, which I don't know if that's the concussion talking or bro is legit delusional. So Harry abides that request and they get ready for round. I, I do not know what round this is. Craven throws a big right and Harry hops in his prime Floyd bag with the weave. He then hops in his Canelo bag and delivers a mean counter punch. He got Craven staggering again. Uh, this hurts. You know what? I refuse to cover any more of this fight. Hey, it's my video. It's my video. Yup, my goat finally took an L. Yup, get your laughs in. Ha ha, kiki. <laughs> So this cornball Harry gives Peter the symbiote to help revitalize him. Peter Benjamin Parker gets back up with the symbiote, folds Craven's lackeys. How does he live? Get your boss, he's better aim. Craven likes what he sees. The spider is mine. And that leads to him wanting another round with the symbiote. And the next target is none other than Spider-Man himself. 